Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Danny Shea in his bathrobe. It's nice, comfy, warm. It's a little cold this morning, but the sun's shining, so it's nice. It's nice, nice, nice. Here I am in my little shaman's cave that I built. Um, second video I've done, because the first one was eaten by Mercury Retrograde. Wow. Really? Aren't you full enough, Mercury Retrograde? That's what I have to say. But anyway, it's it's a lighter energy today, isn't it? For me, um, it just seems like a lighter energy. And any little bit of a lighter energy I'll take. So, um, the first card that I pulled for last night that is now shuffled in my Shaman's deck was the corn in medicine position, meaning upside down. And what that reminded us to do is to not take things for granted, not take things as we are entitled to have them. We have to put in the work. We have to do, we have to prepare the soil. We have to nurture the seeds. We have to do the planting water, all that stuff, so that we have a crop. Um, and I think back on 2016, and I go, did we not prepare? I know I didn't. I'm like, there's safeguards in place. Things will balance out. He can't be that bad. <laughs> so, um... This year, this time, it's different. I am speaking my mind, not getting into arguments, but when people tell me, well, he's done so much good, and I go, you know what? He's not a person that I would want to be around. I want to be around nice people, period. He's not nice, period. He makes fun of people. It's just not a person I want to be around. It's not a person I want to set president. Anyway. That's my very simplistic view. So let's um, dig into a new card. Stuck in the mud. Can you all see that? Stuck in the mud. Yeah, but we're getting out of it. So we can go around in circles and in circles and in circles and just keep digging ourselves deeper into a hole. We can do that. Or we can get out. Let's get out. All right. We got some stuff to talk about. Um, Supreme Court. Yay! They gave the whole eastern side of Oklahoma back to the Native Americans? Wow. I'm sure there's going to be some repercussions of that. And it's really not that, that big of a deal. Deal, I wouldn't think, but I know some people are going to say it is. And, and I don't know. I don't know much about it at all, except now that the Native Americans that were tried by the state can now come back and say, you didn't have the authority to try me, only the federal and tribal justices do. I think that's pretty cool. So... um We'll talk about Trump in in the uh, in the taxes a little later on, but he was talking about opening up schools, and he goes, "Just open them, <laughs> no plan, just open them." So I want to dig into that a little bit. 
And there's two areas that I want to dig in to is, um, how's it going to be for the kids and their safety? And how's it going to be for, um, I mean, is, is that just one more nail in his election, re-election coffin? Um, you don't mess with people's kids. I mean, come on. Let's see what uh let's see what goes on with that. Okay, so I'm gonna pause and put the camera down. Okay, so what's gonna go on if Trump forces schools to open? How's that gonna be for the kids? You know, it's it, the way that our society is now. You know, we have both parents working. Um, the kids have to go somewhere. Uh, but we're in a new reality. So is it, it, do we need to, like, band together in communities that do homeschooling? Um, that it, it's... It's beyond my little brain to figure that out. But how is this going to open? How is this going to work for the kids if Trump forces them back into school? I'm, I don't hear a plan. Whoa. Don't. Oh. I'm not a very good shuffler this morning. See if I can. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, what is the plan? Well, there, there. I don't know if there is one. He's just going to open it up. Um, and how are the kids going to deal with this? How are they going to be? Are they going to be okay? Kids gonna be okay with this. Six coins, giving and receiving. But look at this. It is all about money being tied up in the web of money with this card, being crossed by. Oof, seven of swords. Not sure what that means yet. I know Magician is at the bottom. The Eight of Swords, certainly in the past, that is the way that we're feeling, that we've got a knife to our neck. We've got to do something. Above it is the Seven of Wands. Still more battling. And in the near future... Queen of Coins. I'm a little confused with this. Um, I'm not quite sure what the Six of Coins is all about with the Queen of Coins. He's trying to make something happen by being the magician. He's trying to, you know, let's just manipulate this and move it and steal something, you know, just manhandle it. He's trying to be the magician because he feels like his, like, like he's got to do something, but he's battling, and is he battling the mothers? Is he battling um, to me this this Queen of Coins card is when you look at the households who who really controls the money in a lot of the households? It's the mother, it's mom. Um 
even though now both people are making money, when it comes to the household and the kids, it's the queen. So he's going to be battling her. And if he's putting if he's putting her kids in danger, let's just keep going. Knight of Wands, there's news coming, but look at that guy. He's looking over his shoulder. He's looking over his shoulder like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Externally, there's a little celebration, and that's, okay, good. Kids are out of the house. Maybe we're getting back to normal again. Hopes and fears. Nine of Cups. I hope this works out. And the final outcome, heartbreak. Three of Swords, heartbreak at the base of the deck. Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords. Seven of Coins. And the Queen of Wands. So the base of the deck is the hidden things that we're not really seeing here. And this spread, there's a lot that I'm not getting out of this, to be honest. Um, it just seems to me that with Trump saying, let's just open up the schools back again with no real solid plan Everything will just go away. The kids will all be the kids will all be okay. He's trying to do something for his base here to to get the economy to get the economy back rolling again. And he's trying to be the magician. But that could be a false celebration. And certainly it ends in heartbreak. It ends in heartbreak. And you've got the Ten of Swords being stabbed in the back. You have the Queen of Swords, which is the harsh truth, that a harsh truth that is coming at him. Even though he's trying to manipulate it and make it work, he's missing the Queen of Wands just doesn't have any empathy doesn't have any warmth and this is at the base of what every child wants that queen of wands okay I don't see it going very well and so what do we do We have to come up with another plan. What do we do if we don't like how this is going? Let's just ask Spirit. What do we need to know with our kids? How do we keep them safe if the government is kind of forcing this on us? How do we keep us safe if the government is forcing this on us? Chariot movement, but in this deck, they're going in two different directions. Do you think? Crossed by four swords. Retreat, sickness. At the, at the base of the reading is justice. Past as it relates. Whoa, sorry. Ace of swords. New truth. And at the top of the reading, Five of Swords battling. So let me just stop there and look at this. There are two paths that we can go on. Um, we can do what the government says and just send them to school, or we can do it a different way, maybe homeschool or, or some other way. 
And I think the other way would be, what did the teachers have to say about it? There is... It's it's not going to be easy either way, right? It's going to give us the Four of Swords. This is, in this deck, it's, it's still a retreat. It's a meditation. It's We really have to think about it. It's not so much if we sit up off of our bed, we're going to get stabbed, like in other decks. This is more, we just we just need to look around and see what the dangers are, and then listen to our instincts. Listen to spirit. Justice will happen. Um, the, the new truth that is behind us is, what the heck are we doing? And there's going to be a lot of people that, that are going to struggle with this. This is a card winning at any cost. You see the people walking away from um, behind him. And I think what I'm feeling from this card is that when, if Trump pushes this, he's going to lose even more people in his base as far as his election is concerned. But this is about the kids. This isn't about, I mean, well, this is about what do we do to protect our kids. And if it's what do we do, we don't follow the man balancing on the swords. Heck, the guy can't even walk down the stairs. In the near future. Ten of swords. Let's just keep going. We've got to be careful with this. Six of wands. This is a celebration, but when you look at this card again on this deck, looks like this guy's being roasted. Death. Hopes and fears. The Empress. And the final outcome, the Fountain. Hmm. We need, we need to find a balance in this, in this situation. Um, it's just not sending them to school. It's, it's maybe not homeschool, but we need to come up with the right plan and the right, the, the right way forward. And we will if we don't stay on the edges. So we have to bend a little bit. We have to give a little bit. Um, and we certainly have to protect our kids. And this is the hopes and fears, the Empress, um, being in touch with, with Mother Nature, being in touch with Mother. So we can avoid that. We have to be, be aware that that's a real possibility. And that's something we can't tolerate. I mean, it's going to happen. It happens all the time. But as I said in the very beginning about um, the corn card that I got... We have to have the right intention. We have to prepare correctly and not just follow the leader with this. The government's not going to um, save us from any kind of natural disaster. It never has. It never will. It can help us after the fact to a certain degree. Um, I volunteered for FEMA when three hurricanes hit Florida. And 
nothing could be done. Nothing could be done immediately after the hurricanes hit. Two or three months later, something, it's never enough. Never enough. So make sure that we are prepared for whatever is going to come our way. We can't just go, okay, well, they'll deal with it. That's not going to happen. Okie dokie. Let's move on to Trump's taxes. How fast is that going to happen? How fast is New York City going to get to it? Let's talk about the next three months. Next three months. Is Trump's taxes going to be brought to light within the next three months? Is something going to happen in New York City that's going to affect Slippery Don? Government opening up a box of whoop ass. Crossed by King of Wands. <laughs> Look at that card. Big news. Boom. Sending sparks everywhere. The base. A little bit of battling going on. Past. It's the world. People all over the world are watching to see what we do with this. Three of Wands. This, in this deck, the guy's pulling resources from different areas and turning them into one, into a rope. And it's taking a little bit of effort, but he's, he's getting it done. And in the near future, Page of Swords. Harsh truth coming at you. Well, and it's, it may need to be flushed out a little bit more. Because that's a page. So, they're working on getting all this stuff together. Five of Coins. There's going to be loss. Who's who, who's going to have loss? Who's that going to be? Illusion delusion guy. He's going to throw some more illusion delusion to counteract his loss. And we have the page of coins. A new start, new look at things. And this is the hopes and fears. So we hope that New York City will... Give us a new start to look into the, uh, Trump's financials. And that's what we got with the Supreme Court ruling. And the final outcome, will the Supreme Court get something in the next three months that will not make Donald Trump happy and will make us happy? Ooh, Ten of Wands battling. Are they, are they uncovering so much stuff? Is that what that card is? Let's pull one more. Eight of coins. I think yes. And what we don't see... Oh! That's Donald Trump. Look. He doesn't feel so good. Oh, sorry, sorry. My cards. And yeah, there's still going to be more battling. Nine of Wands. Um, he's going to feel beat up. Page of Cups. He's looking at things. He's, you know, he's going, somebody's giving him some information. We don't get this card much with uh, Donald Trump, us readers anyway, but I'll just share it with you. Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters. I was being a little sarcastic. I was joking. Do not, do not drink Clorox. I'm joking. 
I'm joking. Well, it it does taste like. Anyway, never mind. Oh, just in case that you're going, is that New York City moving away or whatever? No, it's giving us the sun. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I got a little silly. I got a little silly there. Um, I think New York City is, you know, they got their work cut out for them. There's no doubt about it. And these guys, you know, they're, they're the ones that, that are at least digging into this. And I guess, I guess Donald shouldn't have, like, kept bagging on New York City all the time. Because now they're going after him. And they're just doing their job. It's not like a revenge thing. And they're just doing their job. So good for them. Um, real quick, how much time do I have? 26 minutes. All right, I'm going to cut this. Um, this is going to be my last one. Um, Alexander Acosta. It's going back to Epstein. Um, I have a special name for him. And I would just like to know if he is going to face justice. Is something going to come up where people are going to look back at him and find something that they can say that was illegal and you need to wear paper clothes like Maxwell, <laughs> Giselle, Ghislaine, Ghislaine, Ghislaine. She was such in high fashion, now she's wearing paper clothes. That's what I read. Anyway. All right. Well, Alexander Acosta, will he face justice for what what he did. Ace of Swords. New truths coming out. Crossed by judgment. Oh, can I stop here, please? Oh, I like that. Four Swords. He is not going to be happy about this. Death in the past. Three of Wands. Again, up at the top. And so this it's interesting with this card in the same position when I was talking about New York City. We don't know what um, New York is doing. I mean, it's been really quiet. Are they also working on Acosta? Is he somehow tied in with all of that? Heartbreak. I'm just going to leave it there, but I'm going to clarify that heartbreak. Whose heartbreak is that? Whose heartbreak is that? Is that Acosta's? And this is tricky because what card is going to tell me that? Um, if it's a legal card, I'm going to say that that's New York City. If it's a money card, I'm going to say it's him. Who's that Three of Swords? It's him, the lovers. That is, at least that's my initial impression, um, working in partnership with somebody else that 
is um, has some kind of contract. I, I think Costa had some kind of contract with Epstein or his people or whatever. The Emperor. Trump. And there's money. Slow moving. Yay. All righty, people. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending some time with me in my shaman cave as we leave as we leave how do we maintain a cheerful attitude moving forward how do we plant the right seeds how do we tend to our cornfield so that it produces the results that we want it to which is a good stock of corn versus the stuff we got now. Ghost lands. And it was reversed. Okay, I had to pause and really look at this. So this card is I'm trying to get it so you don't see the reflection. This card is is like, um, you know, it, it's got two clocks and they are, they're frozen in time. So, and they're ghost clocks, because <laughs> it says ghost lands. Um, it feels like we're frozen in time, doesn't it? It feels like there should be um, that, that we're just not moving ahead. Being reversed says that that's not true. We are moving ahead. We are thawing out. It's just not as fast as we want it to be. And then I go back to my original card, which is the corn. Keep thinking positive thoughts. Keep Magic. Keep thinking positive thoughts. Keep um, when that when the negative stuff comes in, you just push it away and say we're going for something better. We're doing something better. Stand up for what we believe. Not let other people kind of push us around. And be gentle. Be gentle with ourselves. Be gentle with other people. Um, the virus is really kicking in a lot more right now, as, as we all see in the news. It's really scary. So um, be careful out there. Be careful with yourself. And that's it. No, it isn't. I got one more thing to say. Um, make sure you tell the people that you come in contact with, your friends, your family, that you love them, if you do. Um, <laughs> and don't take anybody for granted. All right? I love you all. Peace and love.